Hi beautiful souls, welcome back or welcome to the channel. It's Cade and we are back with another pick a card reading today. And today's reading guys is going to be, do you have a future with them? And if so, what is that future? Okay, so we're really going to be tuning into first, is there a future? Yes or no. And if there is a future between the two of you, we'll tune into everything that is going to happen or anything that comes up. What does the future hold? Are you going to get in a commitment? Okay, and sort of what's going to happen between the two of you. Okay, so before we get started, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's at Kate Conrad. It's going to be linked down below, guys. Make sure to check out my spiritual shop. That is also going to be linked down below. And if you're feeling generous and would like to donate to the channel, I also have my Amazon wish list linked down below as well. So just check out all of the links in the description. And um, also, guys, I want to give a huge thank you to whoever donated this Vice Versa Tarot. I'm really, really excited to use it, but um, it did not come with the note. So if you donated it, guys, please comment down below so I can give you a proper thank you and a proper shout out. Okay, so... Um, if you're new here, guys, how I like to do my readings is for each pile, I like to tune in with my spiritual gifts and my intuition. So spirit communicates to me through signs, symbols, visions, words, and feelings. And then it's just my job to interpret all of that and bring through the clear and accurate message to you guys. Okay, so I do shuffle tarot and oracle cards, but I like to read with my intuition first and then go into the cards. Okay, so think about your person, guys. Think about your connection, okay? Okay. Take a deep breath, ground your energy. We have four piles today to choose from. And the question is, do you have a future with them? Okay, and if so, what is that future? Okay, so pile one is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. So this is gonna be pile one. Pile two is the Light Seers Tarot. So this is gonna be pile number two. Pile number three, guys, is going to be the Modern Witch Tarot. This is gonna be three. And pile number four is going to be the fountain tarot. Okay, guys, so really, really take a deep, deep breath, okay? Okay, and just use your intuition to pick your pile. Pause the video if you need more time. Okay, guys, so once you pick your pile, all the timestamps are going to be in the description box below. And um, we're going to go ahead and jump into pile number one. And I will see the rest of you beautiful souls at your pile. Hi, beautiful souls. That shows pile number one or the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. So if you chose this deck right here, welcome in, guys. This is your reading on do you have a future with them, okay? And if so, what is that future going to be, okay? So let's just go ahead and ask, do you have a future with them? Spirit, this is, I'm hearing maybe so, okay? So this is one of those where it's sort of in between, okay? Um, depending, I'm hearing depending on the path you take, okay? So let's get some background information to sort of um, get a little bit of an explanation on this answer. So for a lot of you, it's sort of like a yes, but it could also be a no, okay? It really feels sort of in between, sort of like spirit is telling me depending on the path you take, okay? Um, I am seeing two separate ways here, okay? So for some of you, you have two options, okay? Or two paths or two different careers that you're choosing from, okay? Um, and maybe this person is involved in one of the paths and on the other path, this person is not involved, okay? So it is sort of a maybe right now, okay? But let's see what's going on here. Let's get a little backstory. Spirit, what's going on here in this connection? I'm hearing you're tired of being let down, okay? You guys are sort of wanting to just step into your power is what I'm getting. There's a lot of... Um, inner worth building up inside of you is what I'm getting. You guys really want to feel good about yourselves. And it's like, this person is not making you feel good about yourself right now. Okay. I'm getting this energy of like, you know, like when you go and you go, I don't know why spirit is giving me this example, but it's like, you're going, you're checking outside, hoping your package is going to be there and it's never there. It never showed up. This is what that person is to you. I feel like you're always looking for them in particular places. You're always looking for this, their support in particular areas in your life and they don't show up. Okay. There is this feeling of like, I'm hearing constantly being disappointed. I'm hearing never enough, never enough, never enough. So what a lot of you have done is said bye is what I'm getting. Okay, because wow, 
Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Guys, this card talks all about being underappreciated. Okay, the energy I'm hearing is not being reciprocated. Okay, so what I'm getting is you're giving a lot to this person. Okay, I'm hearing you're creating a lot with them. Okay, so you've sent them an incredible amount of your energy. Okay, or you have been very, very supportive, supportive of them. I'm hearing you've been very supported, supportive of their dreams and their ambitions. Yeah, I'm hearing you guys have really been the light at the end of the tunnel for this person. Like, you've given this person a lot of hope and a lot of optimism, but it really feels one-sided. Like, it feels like you're pushing out a lot of your energy, and it's not being received. It's not being reciprocated. It's like they're not... I'm hearing the drought. The drought. Wow. Okay, so guys, I really need you to go listen to the song Clean by Taylor Swift, okay? Because it feels like... I'm hearing you went through a very droughtful period with this person, okay? Like, there was not a lot of growth in terms of this connection, okay? Even though you put a lot of energy into this connection, there was nothing to build off of is what I'm getting. It's like you were giving a lot of energy. It's like I'm hearing you were sharing your fruit with this person. Like, you're a very abundant people is what I'm getting. And your person lacks this abundance. They lack this self-worth that you have so they never reciprocated this back to you okay they really took your love for granted they thought you were always going to be there okay but i'm hearing they messed up okay guys because you are headed towards your destiny okay you're taking in path you're taking a path i'm hearing that involves a lot of love and i'm hearing all this love is being gifted to yourself okay i'm hearing this person passed you up on their on your offer okay so I'm hearing all this time you were giving, all this time they weren't reciprocating, and you've had enough, okay? You've been disappointed by this person, okay, over and over and over. I'm hearing this person always leaves you in shambles, okay? Because you're giving to something that ultimately is just never giving back to you, okay? And this is super stressful. I'm hearing the weight of your world, the weight of the world is always on your shoulders. So you were always taking all of this on. Everything that Everything, you were taking all the responsibility of this connection. Let me be real with you. This person was not taking responsibility for this connection. And that's why you were not able to build anything with this person, okay? Wow. I'm almost getting like, this was very, very like, I hate to be mean here, but it's like your guides are telling me this person is very mediocre. Like they're very, very average. Um, compared to your level, okay? So you guys have a lot to give, okay? You have very, very open heart chakras. And they're telling me this person was very average compared to the love that you were giving, okay? Um, yeah, you guys were giving way too much love to this person and they couldn't match you. You guys are very, very intuitive, okay? You really, really stand in your power and this is something that your person is unable to do is what I'm getting, okay? This person has a lot of fear around what people think about them, so they lay low, okay? You guys are very, very bright lights and to be with you, I'm hearing this person had to match your energy, so they had to be a bright light too. They had to give you an equal amount of love that you were giving them and they were not able to do this, okay? I'm hearing it ended in flames. This was love at first sight for some of you, and what I mean by that is you liked this person the first time you saw them, okay? And they let you down. Wow. I'm hearing they led you down a path that you really didn't want to go down. At first, it does feel like you have a connection with this person, but this person is not up to par. So. When spirit gives you lessons, I'm hearing, you learn them. And so that's not what your person does though. I'm hearing your person is being fed lessons, but they're not learning them. And that's why they're not able to meet you in the middle. For some of you, you are too good for this person, okay? You're giving way too much love and I'm telling you, this person is not able to reciprocate it, okay? So you, you've taken a break from this person and you've really, you're in contemplation is what I'm hearing, okay? Because you know you deserve better, okay? Yeah. 
I'm hearing this person is not up to par with you, okay? They're not giving birth to the same ideas is what I'm hearing. You guys are very, very hopeful and optimistic about your future is what I'm getting. You guys are very, very confident people. You stand in your power, okay? And ultimately this scared this person a little bit because they're not able to do that. They're not that comfortable with themselves, okay? So let's see, let's see why guys. Why did this person go away from you? Why did they run away and what's going on? They are seeing other people, not that you care is what I'm hearing, okay? Because it's like even when this person was in your life, they were never really there for you. So it doesn't really matter, okay? It sort of feels the same as what I'm hearing, okay? So I feel like a lot of you even thought about going back to this person, but it's like every time you go back, it's the same cycle, it's the same pattern, okay? And I'm hearing you have to break this pattern, or your person does. Your person, I'm hearing, keeps slipping back into the same karmic cycles and the same karmic patterns. They're not learning their lesson. They're not awakening to their true power. You are, and that's why you're not able to meet this person because vibrationally you're up here, vibrationally your person's down here. So how are, you're not a match. You are not a vibrational match to this person right now. So Spirit is telling me, for you to have a future with this person, you have to match them, I'm hearing on a spiritual level. They have to grow. They have to grow up a little bit. They have to learn their lessons. So what's going on with your person though? I do want to dive a little deep. Yeah, you're working on yourself. You're working on your dreams. I'm getting, you're working on your career. And it's like, I'm hearing either catch up or be left behind. Okay. Because you're moving forward. Okay. And you guys have a lot of love to give. Okay. You want a relationship, but you want one that's going to serve you. And this is not serving you currently. Okay. So I'm hearing a, for a lot of you, this person was very disrespectful. I feel like they said some very mean things to you to try to tear you down, okay? This person I'm getting is very, very doubtful of themselves. So they try, they try to sort of project that. For a lot of you, this person did something out of spite. I'm hearing they posted a picture on social media out with another person. I'm hearing kissing other people. So your person is actively kissing other people or they're actively with other people right now and I'm hearing you don't want to be involved in that bullshit, okay? I'm hearing this person is trying to get your attention, but what I'm really getting, guys, is this person takes you for granted, okay? They know what you're offering them, okay? But they're not willing to level up, you know what I mean? They're not willing to look at themselves, okay? They're not willing almost to listen to their own divine guidance. What I'm getting here is like, yeah, the tower. They're not willing to heal themselves is what's going on with your person. This was too intense for them. It brought up too many demons. It brought up too many things that they needed to heal within their own life. So they rejected it. They rejected this healing. And I'm hearing went back to an old cycle or an old pattern. What is this old pattern? I'm hearing sleeping around, okay? This person likes to sleep around. Yeah. I'm almost getting like a lot of one night stand type of energy, like a lot of player energy. And they pushed you away, guys. They pushed you so far away that I don't know if you're coming back, okay? This was very, a very, very imbalanced connection, guys. They were not giving you... I'm hearing they were not reciprocating, okay? So, wow. I'm hearing that Selena Gomez song. I needed to lose you to love me. That's the energy. You had to walk away. Wow. I, I mean, like, it just feels very empowering on your end, okay? And this person just keeps slipping in a deeper hole. But with the sun here, it's like you have the eight of cups, so you had to walk away to feel good about yourself again, okay? To feel good about your life again. And I'm hearing that this person cannot be a part of this path, okay? So there's either, the two paths that I was talking about. You could go back to them and repeat this cycle again, or you could go on to this next path that you're taking, and this person is just not energetic, energetically ready to take this path with you, okay? So you've had to tell them goodbye, okay? So for the people, will you have a future with them? 
I'm hearing the odds are not in your favor. So for very, very few of you, is this person going to realize their lessons, okay? Because this is very, very heartbreaking, but it's like you have to walk away because they're living in pain, they're living in fear, they're living in their ego, okay? And I'm hearing they're not a vibrational match. They don't know how to reciprocate the love that you're offering them. You know what I mean, guys? And really what this connection is doing is it's, it's, it, I'm hearing it's yielding you rather than helping you. So it's not supporting you on the path that you are about to take. Okay. Um, a lot of you, I'm hearing indistinct chatter. It's like this person still talks about you. They still think about you. They still miss you, but you've had to learn to just sort of block this chatter out and move forward okay guys this person is gonna try to get your attention okay i'm hearing they're gonna try to woo you i feel like this person is gonna do a lot of spiteful things to sort of try to reel you back in and you're just gonna have to not listen to them what is the future what is this person gonna do this person lacks so much self worth okay the empress in the reverse they lack so much worth in themselves they lack confidence within themselves they're so closed off to loving themselves that they want you to feel this way okay they i'm hearing they want to drag you in the mud and i don't know if they know they're doing this but they're doing it okay and it's like you have to be honest with yourself this is not supporting your soul's growth or your soul's mission some of you this is a gemini libra aquarius okay but I'm hearing you've lost faith in this connection, okay? It's just not helping you anymore. It's not supporting your soul's growth anymore, okay? So I don't feel you might still love this person, okay? But it's like that energy, I had to lose you to love me because this person is very, they lack stability in their own life. And when they see you thriving, they like, they want you to be where they are energetically, okay? You guys are not a vibrational match to this person, the hermit in the reverse. They're not soul searching the way you are, okay? So let me see if there's any more last little tidbits that you guys need to hear about this connection. Okay, what's going on here, spirit? I'm hearing you gotta learn to let it go. So it's more of you're not letting them go because you don't necessarily like them. Maybe some of you don't like them, but it's more of I have to let you go because I have to heal and I have to move on and I have to move forward. Okay, this I'm gonna tell you guys, this person is hindering your growth. They're not working together with what you're trying to build. You're trying to build a legacy for yourself. You're trying to have abundance in your life. I'm hearing you're trying to achieve success and this person doubts themselves too much to align with that kind of energy, guys. So they're gonna be stuck in their same toxic patterns. I'm getting there's a lot of drinking here. There's a lot of fun, okay? There's a lot of partying, but at the end of the day, this person is not happy. They don't feel good about themselves. And they have a lot of careless sex that just, I'm hearing they're, they're falling in a pit, okay, of their own mud. They created this and they're going to watch you grow and they're going to watch you succeed. They're too, what did I say? The six of wands. They're going to watch you grow while they're halted, okay, in their own ego. This person is very much in their ego. They're, they're trying to hurt you guys, okay, because they're hurting. Understand that. Hurt people hurt people. So this person really likes you. I'm getting they didn't have the guts to admit this, and so they've slipped back into toxic patterns because to them this is easier. Guys, I'm hearing their soul's growth. They're not admitting what needs to grow inside of them, and that's why they're experiencing this, okay? Yeah, this is a very stuck person and it's like, you can't heal them, they have to heal themselves. Okay, and that's why this is a maybe because in reality, is this person going to step up to the plate and heal themselves? Spirit doesn't know, all they know is you have to, I'm hearing you have to get a move on with your life. Okay, so I would not stay stuck for this person because either this person is gonna catch up to you energetically, either they're gonna rise to the occasion is what I'm hearing and meet you vibrationally. You're not vibrationally matched right now and that's the issue. You're, I'm hearing pity, this person likes to play victim, okay? So they blame everyone else, you've probably heard them say this. 
well, I have a terrible life and blah, blah, blah. But as we know, guys, being spiritual people, you have to look within and you have to heal from within. And this person is just not ready to do that yet, okay? So I'm hearing stop playing their games, okay? They're still in their ego. They have not healed themselves. So you're playing with a hurt person and hurt people hurt people. Okay, so period. Okay, so let me know if that resonated, guys. Let me know in the comments. Okay, make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, it's at Cade Conrad, and I'm gonna go to move on to pile number two. Hi, beautiful souls, that chose pile number two or the Light Sears Tarot deck. So if you chose this deck right here, welcome in, guys. This is your reading on do you have a future with them? And if so, what is that future going to be? Okay, so let's just take a moment here and just ask the question first, okay? Do you have a future with them? I'm hearing you absolutely do, okay? For a lot of you, this is 100% yes is what I'm hearing, okay? Th there is a future here, okay? I'm hearing I can feel it coming on. There is more that is going to happen between you and this person, okay? To just start the reading I'm hearing on a very positive no okay um, I'm hearing some piles were not as good but this is gonna be I think a very positive pile I can already feel it this is a divine connection okay for a lot of you this is a twin flame union is what I'm hearing if it's not a twin flame union if you don't really believe in that or whatever it, it's some sort of soulmate or it's some sort of divine connection we'll leave it at that okay so there is um, there's karma playing out in this connection, okay? There's some sort of, of a destiny factor between you and this person, okay? Sort of a meant to be, okay, type of energy, okay? Um, so let's see what's currently going on, okay? Between the two of you, and then we'll move into like what this is gonna, what the future is gonna hold. Okay, there was a split between the two of you. There was a temporary split, okay? Which makes sense with the two of cups and the reverse, okay? But the weird thing is I'm hearing there was an equal exchange of energy, okay? I'm hearing that, okay, so it feels like when you were together, there was a lot of um, reciprocation. Like, it feels like you were giving this person an equal amount of love as they were giving you. Like, this feels very um, balanced, okay? It feels in flow, like when you were together, okay? There was a temporary split is what I'm hearing. But I feel like this sort of split is being orchestrated by the divine, okay? So let's tune into this a little bit more, okay? Because... What I just heard when I said that is both of you were sort of lacking stability in your life, okay? So I feel like the reason spirit split you is because they didn't want this connection to become codependent, okay? I'm hearing there was a lot of like relying on each other, okay? I'm hearing don't pass go. So spirit is temporarily pausing this connection, I'm hearing, until further notice. Eight of cups in the reverse. So you're not walking away. You're not walking away. They're not walking away. But you are putting this connection on pause or spirit is putting this connection on pause. Okay, so um, there's an intense amount of love here. Okay, there, there, this is a very, very sacred connection. Okay, when you're with this person, it really does make you feel very, very wholesome. Okay, this is your divine counterpart. Okay, I'm hearing there's an equal exchange of love. So the amount of energy you give this person... Um, at least the feelings are mutual, okay? So maybe their actions never reflected this for some of you, but the feelings are definitely very, very mutual here. It almost even feels like both of you are very, very spiritual people, and I'm hearing that's hard to come by. So there's something very rare about this connection that both of you have never experienced. So why, are, why is this temporarily paused, spirit? Wow, this is something very, th this is hard to come by is what I'm picking up on. Okay, this is, this is something that, wow. Okay, so this is not going to last for long, okay? But they sort of have, spirit sort of had to put both of you in your places is what I'm hearing. So they sort of had to help both of you sort of become who you truly were and sort of detach from the connection a little bit because I'm hearing a lot of you were sort of maybe defining your life a little bit 
on this connection. You were sort of so focused on the connection and it sort of drifted you away from what you were supposed to be doing in your life, okay? Like you sort of got caught off guard from what opportunities you were supposed to be taking for your own success, okay? You sort of got a little bit a lot of you got a little codependent on this person. You got a little bit attached to this person, okay? Maybe some of you got into your ego a little bit with this connection, within this divine connection is what I'm getting, okay? So this is a periodic separation to help both of you climb back into your destiny is what I'm hearing. That's a weird way to put it, but it's like both of you, when you met each other, you sort of fell away from your own divinity or you sort of fell away from your own purpose, okay? And Spirit is saying your life cannot be defined on the basis of this relationship, but both of you have to define yourselves in your own life, okay? So a lot of you are splitting paths here to figure out what you're truly meant to do, okay? To really sort of figure out your own destiny, okay? This is an ending that is sort of going to push a new beginning, okay? So this is sort of reestablishing flow into the connection. This is reestablishing flow within your life, okay? You have to figure out your life before you can both mesh your lives together. And that feels like is sort of what's happening here, okay? I'm hearing it's a very odd explanation, but I do feel like this split was something that was intentionally done by spirit, okay? And it also, I keep hearing it was sort of to get both of you out of your egos, okay? So a lot of you were falling, I'm hearing, into love entrapment, okay? I have the person I love. I don't need to do anything else anymore. I don't need to go after my dreams. I'm in love. It was sort of that type of feeling, and spirit's like, no, you still need to go after your dreams, okay? I'm hearing you still need to conquer. And what this person is here for is to help you support you on that journey, okay? And that, you guys were sort of swaying away from that, okay? So, King of Pentacles, I'm hearing you have to be successful in your own life, same as your person, and that's why it's not transforming, okay? So it's not over, but you have to transform your own life first, okay? So both of you right now are, I'm hearing you're having a stability check, okay? So both of you are, becoming more stable in your own life. You have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So maybe a lot of you are going towards your destiny, you're focusing on your dreams, and this needs to happen, okay? You need to reach your full potential. I'm hearing you need to reach your own personal gain before you can help this other person gain, okay? Because how are two empty cups going to support each other? That's sort of the energy, okay? so. Spirit is sort of allowing both of your cups to overflow so that you can have a third overflowing cup, okay? Because how are either one of you going to give into this relationship if you're not feeding into yourself first, okay? So what's going on here? Is there any other information? Okay, so both of you are very much looking at this connection logically right now, okay? We're split, we're broken apart, we're never gonna be back together. And Spirit is really encouraging you to tune in to Divine Source. See the underlying truth, okay? See the potential in this connection and understand that this is only serving your highest good, okay? I am hearing you're gonna come back together in the fall. Okay, so a lot of you are feeling very, very heartbroken. You're viewing this from an outside perspective, okay? This person is not in my life. But really, you're both establishing boss energy is what I'm wanting to say in your own life. Like you're both becoming your own boss, okay? Instead of being the boss over each other. So it feels like you were getting a little bit codependent on this person and so was your person and this, they're sort of splitting you apart so that you can realize your own worth, okay? Love and relationships are, I'm hearing are never supposed to overcome you, okay? So they really want you to remain stable, okay? And persistent in your own life, okay? I'm hearing like matchmaking skills. So someone may, Spirit is really congratulating themselves on the way they were able to put you two together, okay? But... They're really wanting you to follow your own destiny right now, okay? Um, your own dreams, okay? They really want you to triumph in your own life, okay? You were sort of steeping into... Yeah, you were, you were sort of becoming attached, like too attached. 
nine of swords and it sort of blocked the flow of the connection. So they sort of had to rewind everything. Okay, so um, when is this person gonna come back into your life? In the fall. There's a lot of fall energy, okay? There will be, a, you're gonna start again with this person in the fall, okay? September is what I'm hearing. There will be a fresh start, okay? A burst of energy because you're sort of gonna come back with a better understanding of what this connection is, okay? And both of you I'm getting are gonna come back with a better understanding of yourselves, okay? Because a lot of you were like bonding over the pain you've experienced, okay? And, and it's like, Spirit was like, oh my God, wait a minute. We need to make sure both of you are healed, okay? Because a lot of you were bonding on trauma or pain that you've experienced in your past, okay? With this Five of Pentacles. So, I'm hearing a lot of you are feeling very, very let down, but it's not, I'm hearing it's not a personal issue. It's not a personal issue, okay? You're finding your own truth. You're finding your own balance. You're finding your own stability. And that way this can create a stronger bond between the two of you, okay? So you are needing to let go of control issues, okay? Six of wands. Your own success is being found first and then love is what I'm getting, okay? So let go of control issues here, okay? Because this is divinely orchestrated, okay? I'm hearing fly me to the moon. So you guys are going to move in together in the future. There will be children involved for some of you. Okay, this is a very, very sacred connection. You guys have had many, many past lives together is what I'm hearing. And... I'm hearing success stories. So both of you are also going to be very, very successful people when you come back into this bond. Okay, so I am hearing you need to let it go a little bit. Okay, Four of Swords, it's keeping you up late at night. You're not able to sleep, but you need to release control of this. I'm hearing divinity. So what this means is you need to release this connection to the, to the divine, okay, so that they can orchestrate this in the way that they have planned is what I'm hearing. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of ego energy, okay? So don't listen to your head. Don't listen to the mental chatter. Really listen to your intuition. Do you feel like it's over? No, so it's not over. So what is the outcome of this, the future? Yeah, they're reestablishing flow here. Because both of you were a little... I'm almost getting both of you were a little all over the place in your personal lives, okay? Um, but Four of Wands. So this is the overall outcome. Commitment, celebration, living together, owning a house together, okay, being together. But they're establishing balance in your personal life. So I'm hearing take notice of that, okay? Where are they trying to balance you out in your own life? Because that's what's happening with your person and that when when the two of you sort of accept this okay that's when you're going to be able to come back together a lot faster okay so let me know pile two if that resonated okay make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload okay make sure to follow me on instagram at kate conrad and i'm going to go to move on to pile number three hi beautiful souls that shows pile number three or the modern witch tarot if you chose this deck right here welcome in guys this is your reading on um, do you have a future with them? And if so, what is that future going to hold? Okay, so let's see. Let's just answer the question first. Pile three, is there a future? There's not one is what I'm hearing. Okay, there's not a future here. Okay, it's plummeting right now. It's falling apart, guys. I'm almost getting something that was very solid, okay? It's plummeting, it's falling apart, it's breaking apart. You guys are really, really trying to hold this together. I'm getting there's a lot of energy of you trying to glue the pieces back together, but they're falling away much faster than you're putting them on, okay? So let's sort of see what's going on here. I'm hearing this person really did not serve your highest good, okay? They were never really on the same page as you, okay? So you guys had different visions for your life, okay? So this could also just be about this person was going in this direction, you were going in that direction, and it was sort of hard for the two of you to mesh your lives together, okay? I don't feel as if you guys were on the same page, okay? I feel like you guys are very, very opposite people, okay? And you just didn't connect in that way, okay? I feel like you sort of figured that out, okay? So for a lot of you, this feels like there was a connection here, so this could be your ex, okay? I feel like there was something solid, but it fell apart just as fast as you put it together, okay? So what's going on here? 
Yeah, I almost even get like the future with them. You could never really see it. It's like you tried so hard to see it, but it was sort of like forced. I'm hearing forced communication, forced feelings, okay? The hero fit in the reverse. Like you sort of knew I'm getting all along that this person was not really meant for you. I feel like at first, I'm hearing at first sight you were not vibing with this person and I'm almost getting you tried to fit into this person's cubicle is what I'm getting. For some of you, you changed your wardrobe. For some of you, you changed the way your hair was to sort of fit into this person's need needs and then it's like once you did this, you realized how much of a mistake this really was, how much of a mistake this connection really was, okay? I'm hearing I could have done better. Okay, yeah, I could have done better. Queen of Wands energy coming from you. Okay, so you're sort of trying to find your own confidence again. Okay, I'm hearing a confidence booster. So I feel like you guys are doing things that sort of serve you, serve your own growth, okay? Serve your own destiny, okay? And I feel like you sort of had to, to be with this person, you had to accommodate, I'm hearing, to their way of living. So I feel like for some of you, you moved in with this person and they sort of made you act a certain way or they sort of made you they wanted you to be someone that you weren't okay and that that was the end of the line that's where you drew the line is what I'm hearing okay so what's going on here for you why is there not a future because you're better off without them okay this person did not serve you is what I'm getting okay this was not a connection this person is also not to be trusted but this was gonna fall apart Okay, I feel like you tried to hold this together. You tried to have faith, but it just wasn't there, okay? You guys are manifesting a soulmate, okay? There's a soulmate bond coming into your life, okay? It is someone that you're gonna meet in your workplace, okay? Your area of work, okay? Some of you are chemist is what I'm hearing, okay? You're chemist, okay? Or you're working in the field of law is what I'm also hearing. Yeah, there's an ending here, guys. Let this go is what I'm getting. This is a cycle that's closing out. And it's like, you know it, you feel it, okay? So a lot of you, you're going towards um, a career. You're going towards your goal, okay? A lot of you are beauticians or something like that. A lot of you I'm hearing are alchemists, so you work with spirit, okay? Whatever this might be, you're going towards this career. Wow. This person always doubted your plans. They never thought you could do it. They never thought you were good enough. This person did not trust you. This person did not trust your dreams. They did not trust your vision. Okay, so again, that feeling of you're going this way, they're going that way. And they're not meant to come with you on this journey, okay? You're meant to act alone is what I'm hearing. And that's when you'll meet your divine counterpart is what I'm getting. So let's tune into that to be real with you, okay? Um, because spirit is just basically telling me this person was gonna halt your growth, so they're sort of a leech, okay? Um, they were gonna leech off of you anyways, so spirit just thought might as well get them out of your life, okay, before it ends in destruction, okay, before they do something actually bad. So, what's the future for you in love? You guys are meeting a divine counterpart. Some of you are meeting this person in August, September, October, okay, at the latest November. So the last half of the year, you're meeting someone new. And it is, for most of you, this is in your field of work. If not, I'm hearing in your field of study. So you may meet them at college, okay? I'm hearing boarding school for some of you, okay? But you guys are gonna have the same interests, Queen of Pentacles, work, okay? Money could be involved here. You could be an earth sign, okay? But it's sort of like you're gonna meet this person when you establish yourself. So when you're working on your studies, when you're going to school, okay? I'm hearing when you're collaborating with spirit. So you're headed towards your dreams, okay? You're very, very focused on career. I'm hearing soul mission, soul purpose. And because of that, that's why this person is aligning with you, okay? Um, is what I'm picking up on. So who is this person? He's a, I'm, I'm hearing for some of you they're 6'4", so this could be a very, very tall person is what I'm picking up on. They don't have to be, guys, but for some of you this person is incredibly tall, okay? Um, I'm hearing fame, fame. So you're meeting this person once you become famous. Some of you are becoming famous. I don't know why I'm hearing that with the star energy, okay? But you have to close this cycle out, okay? I'm hearing you've been stuck on a merry-go-round with this person that you initially 
came into this reading to figure out about. They never trusted you. They never made you feel like a star. They never made you feel happy, okay? A lot of you, this person, this is coming through very strongly. They did not appreciate the work you did, okay? They made fun of your work field. And that's why you're manifesting this other person because they're gonna be supportive of your dreams and they're gonna be supportive of your ambitions, okay? I'm hearing this new person you have coming in is gonna be everything that this person was not, okay? So this person was a doubter is what I'm hearing. They doubted you. They doubted your potential. They doubted your dreams. And so spirit is really manifesting someone that supports you, that supports your soul journey. And most importantly, this person supports your soul mission, okay, your career. I'm hearing development, okay? So before this person comes in, you're gonna have some time alone, okay? This person is not going to come in until you develop. Okay, what are, what are, what are they developing? I'm hearing fame for some of you. So this person is not coming into your life until you are successful. Okay, so a lot of you are experiencing this five of pentacles energy. You feel like you're lacking abundance. So this person is coming in when you're financially stable. Okay, so whenever that happens is when you'll notice this person manifest into your life. Okay, I'm hearing your dreams have to come true first. Okay, you're not prepared yet to meet them. Here's what I feel, okay? And I'm hearing spirits say end of story. So they really want me to tell you this. You guys are headed towards your destiny, okay? Um, I'm hearing a club. So maybe some of you are, I'm hearing a club for some reason. So maybe you're funding a club, okay? Or some sort of community online, okay? But you're headed towards success. You're very goal oriented is what I'm hearing. And you're accomplishing your dreams first, okay? So you're really gonna step into your nine of pentacles energy, your queen of pentacles energy, your empress energy, your abundant energy before this person manifests it, manifest into your life. Wow. Um, I'm hearing this other per yeah, the fool. And once you manifest this new beginning in your career, okay, is when you're going to manifest. So basically what spirit is saying is once you manifest this new beginning in your career, this is going to reflect in your love life. But right now you got to get rid of this other energy. Whoever you came here to get a reading on, they're lodging you. Okay. They're very lodged in your throat chakra. So what this tells me is they're preventing you from expressing yourself in the way that you want to express yourself. Yeah. They're making you put up a false persona. They're making you doubt yourself. They're making you tell stories about yourself that don't need to be told anymore and there needs to be a conclusion to this cycle, okay? So that's on period. Let's see, what's going on here? Any more information for pile three? I'm hearing you gotta learn to let it go. This person needs to be let go. And the reason I say that, I never really say that unless it comes through very clearly, but spirit is saying that this person is blocking your infinity symbol. They're blocking your abundance. They're blocking your creation, okay? And that's why I so strongly, they're blocking your movement forward, your potential, your success. And that's why they need to, I'm hearing, go. That's why you got to cut this person out, okay? Because you have a magic wand, you're ready to create, and this person is preventing you from doing that, okay? I'm hearing your field of work. So a lot of you, this person does not appreciate your job or what I'm getting, there's a lot of toxic masculinity, okay, around this person and they don't think women should work or they think women should be stay at home. Mothers, okay, that's only if you're a female and watching or a feminine, okay? You know, that's what I'm picking up on, okay? They don't think you should be having all the power, but you do have all the power. So tell this, I don't wanna say this, but they're saying tell this person to go by, okay? They are, they're saying tell this motherfucker to go away, okay? Because they're blocking you from your success, okay? And spirit, your guides are not having it right now. They're blocking you, I'm hearing from your divine potential, okay? So let me know, pile three. Let me know. They're blocking you from seeing the clear path forward. You gotta let this person go. I don't like the fact that spirit is telling me they're lodging your throat. Because that tells me they're preventing you from being um, able to express yourself, okay, in a clear way. It's like holding you back is what I'm getting. Okay, so let me know if that resonated. 
Make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, guys. Follow me on Instagram, it's at Kate Conrad, okay? Let me know if it resonated, and I'm gonna go to move on to pile number four. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number four, the Fountain Tarot. Okay, so if you chose this deck right here, welcome in, guys. This is your reading on do you have a future with them, and if so, what is this future? Okay, so let me just ask the question first, and then we'll move into the energy behind it. Okay, so do you have a future with this person? I'm hearing it's up to you. So this is one of those piles. There's not a definitive yes or no answer. Okay, thank you, spirit. I'm hearing your destiny could go in multiple directions. So it's sort of an energy of spirit. You could see this person in your life. You could have a healthy relationship with this person. You could have a commitment. You could have a life with this person. But there's also this other energy of you breaking away from this person and moving in another direction, okay? So for some of you, this person is like an option. I'm hearing they're a player, so on your bench, okay? So you guys have a lineup, okay, of people, and this is just one of them that you're sort of trying to make a decision upon. A lot of you have two distinct people that you're trying to choose from. Um, for some of you, it's just this person, but you're wondering, is there someone better coming? Okay, so let's sort of see what the energy behind this is. So what's going on here? Okay, so you guys are like, I'm getting a vision of you putting your hand up. Okay, so a lot of you are blocking communication from this person. Okay, this person is very, very eager, I'm hearing, to get to know you. Okay, so you guys I'm getting have a lot of suitors, or you have a lot of options, you have a lot of people coming forward to, I'm hearing, greet you, okay? You have a lot of people, I'm hearing, holding the door for you. Like, people literally drool over you. You guys have a lot of options, okay? Fountain Tarot, you guys are shining bright like a diamond is what I'm getting, okay? Um, I will say there is a lot of potential, okay, with this person, okay? Um, I'm getting that there's something, yeah, the Empress, what did I say? You guys are in your... Empress energy, okay? And if you don't know tarot, what that means is you are feeling yourself, okay? You are in your divine energy, okay? You are in the vortex is what I'm hearing. If you know Abraham, okay, you are in the vortex of creation, okay? You are really creating abundance for yourself, okay? I'm hearing you're feeding, okay? You have so much abundance, you're starting to be able to give it out to others. Temperance, you guys are in that flow. I can feel your energy. You are in the balance of life, okay? And it's sort of like I see you biting your nails, like, oh my God, who do I take? Who do I choose? So let's tune into this specific person, what your future would be with them. Wow, okay, so I'm hearing the song. Sorry, guys, my stomach is making noises. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm hearing that song Seven Rings by Ariana Grande, okay? I want it. I got it. Okay, you guys are really... I just have to say this before we jump into, like, the future with this person because you need to know this. You guys are really in this energy right now of being able to manifest whatever you want. You guys are really sitting in a very high vibrational energy, and I just want to make sure you know that, okay? Because there's a lot that can happen for you right now. Okay, I'm hearing portals are opening, doors are opening. So there's a lot of potential for success. Okay, the sun. There's a lot of potential for happiness, okay, within your life right now. You guys, I'm hearing, went and worked on yourself. Okay, you've been working on yourself. I can feel it. Hold on, guys. You guys, I'm hearing you were a little stopped up. Okay, so there was some energy here. You could feel it, okay? There was some healing that needed needed to be done. I'm hearing, and instead of complaining, you guys went and healed this, okay? Or you're in the process of healing this and you're about to feel the way you want to feel. Okay, you guys are in the Law of Attraction. You could be watching Law of Attraction videos, okay? But what I'm getting, you guys were feeling some heavy energy. You were feeling a lack of passion. You were feeling a lack of motivation. And instead of getting up in your head into all that mental chatter, you said, nope, I'm going to the divine judgment. I'm going to my higher power, okay? And you went and got some help is what I'm hearing. So I just wanted to get that out there. That clear message needed to come through is what I'm hearing spirits say. You found your truth, okay? So let's see what's going on with your person though. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, there's a lot of potential with this person. It's more of you don't want them. Or not that you don't want them, but you feel like you're putting this connection on hold. 
okay? I'm hearing Sprite. I don't know why I'm hearing. That could be your favorite soda or this person's favorite soda, okay? Um, you guys are really, you're detoxifying things right now. You're really clearing a lot of energy right now in your life. And um, I don't know, you're sort of in that mood of like, I can get whoever I want, so I don't really need you, okay? I have this person over here too. I'm hearing diamonds, okay? The diamond representing truth, clarity, abundance. You guys are really recognizing your self-worth. So I'm almost getting, you don't wanna take this person just because it's your first offer, okay? It feels like you guys have many options or you're going to have many options coming into your love life. I'm hearing knight in shining armor. So this person is, this person is really gonna showcase a lot. And what I mean by that, there's gonna be a lot of flirting is what I'm hearing spirits say. There's a, gonna be a lot of like, I like you, I like you, I like you. Okay, this person is not gonna rest, okay? If they disappear, they're gonna come back. Okay, there's a lot of like reconciling energy. So there's a lot of sexual passion here. So for some of you, you had sex with this person, but didn't. it never became anything else, okay? And they want more from you, okay? Um, I'm hearing you guys are really, wow, Seven of Cups. That is what I was channeling. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. Wow. You guys have options. Let me be real. You guys have options, okay? I'm hearing for the first time in your life, okay? So I feel like this is a gift. I'm hearing a gift from God, a gift from Spirit, because I feel like in the past in love, you've always been... I'm hearing on the receiving end, okay? So you currently are on the receiving end, but what I was gonna say is in the past, you've always been the one receiving and never getting that reciprocation, and now the roles have reversed. So it's like, you used to be the chaser, and now you're the runner, and they're chasing you, okay? So let's just see what your future with this person would hold if you did choose them. A lot of late nights, okay? So there'd be a lot of cuddling. Um, There'd be a lot of chance. There'd be a lot of stability with this person. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, but you guys are a little bit in your ego, but it's not a bad thing. Okay. But you do have other options. Okay. There's potential to go in many, many directions. What did I say? Okay. So Knight of Cups, the Fool, and the Chariot. So exactly what I was channeling. There's many, many directions that you could go in terms of your love life i'm hearing because you're in flow you're in your essence you're realizing your power okay um and you just want to make sure okay that the one you choose is the one that's going to support you i'm hearing with your divine purpose okay because i'm hearing in the past you've gotten very caught up with like cheaters liars and you're not doing it again okay because you're serving yourself and you want to make sure the person you bring in is also serving you so let's just see i'm hearing a declaration of independence so let me be real right now i think you guys want to be single i really do i feel like you guys want to be single okay you want to just lay low right now flirt have some fun and just work on yourself so i would do that right now okay you don't need to make a decision spirit wants you to enjoy this time with yourself you'll know when you're ready okay so do i think this person could offer you commitment yes okay um but it's it's your choice that's crazy because that's what we channeled at the beginning of the reading thank you spirit this is a very very strong pile the lovers so Although this does represent, okay, a connection, a divine connection. Sorry, guys, my stomach. Oh, my God. Um, it also represents a choice, okay, and the choice is yours. Okay, so it's up to you guys. I'm hearing, doesn't it feel good to be in your power? Doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel good to love yourself? Doesn't it feel good to have courage? Doesn't it feel good to be in your own divine light? Okay, doesn't it feel good? So feel that energy. You, there's no need to rush forward. Feel the energy that you're experiencing right now, okay? It's gonna be very, very beneficial for your soul's growth. So one more message, Spirit. Ten of Cups in the reverse. You guys are denying love right now. I love it though. You guys are such in flow of that empress bad bitch energy like i can feel it okay so nine of coins this is you guys want to be single okay i'm hearing don't lie to yourself you want to be single 
be single, go have some fun, okay? Spirit is saying, you'll know when you want a commitment, okay? So let me know if that resonated pile four. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload, okay? Click the, wait, I already said that, okay? And um, yeah, I will see all, wait, and follow me on my Instagram, at Cade Conrad, and I will see all of you beautiful souls on the next one. Bye, guys.